Building ships in Minecraft can be complicated, at least I think so, but in today's video we're trying to build this ship right here and I'll take you alongside with me. In my opinion, the most important part for building a ship in Minecraft is to get the shapes right. So the first thing I do is to use Swool to just to create the general shape of the ship I want to build. I will also leave a link down below for a video by the Big Baron which helped me a lot with figuring out how to get the shape of the ship right. Once we have the shape of the ship right, it's time for us to start filling in the hull. And here in my opinion, you just gotta spend the time. It's gonna be really hard and it's gonna be super frustrating. But you just gotta rework that shape, remove, add, reshape and just work with it and eventually you will be happy with the shape. A small tip is to do one of the sides first and then once you're happy with that, you'll copy it and flip it over to the opposite side so you don't have to do it twice. Once the hull is complete, once you added the details you want to do alongside the ship, it starts to work on the mass and the rigging of the ship. And that's going to be really tricky as well. But again, just spend your time, step back, take take a look at it, make sure it, the proportions are right, it looks okay. Uh, and then just keep on working on it over time. And this is the part where I think it really starts to look like a ship. And once that is done, you have yourself a ship. Now let's take a close look at the ship here. Uh, we can see we have three masts and we have this, uh, the sails all like uh, folded up here on either side here. And the masts are pretty massive actually. Uh, on the deck we have two boats, uh, lifeboats on either side. And we have a lot of these small uh, miscellaneous stuff just to kind of add a little bit of texture and detail. Uh, around it here so we have just some coal and some ropes and, and whatnot all over the place but we also have this massive uh, yeah gate or trap door I guess and this you could open up and then as you can see you can access the lower floors or decks as you call it on the ship here so and it's gonna be really cool we're gonna check out down there in just a little bit as we move up over here we have a little crate uh, I imagine they have some animals in here uh, and then we have a small like window here actually going down which is pretty cool into the area for uh, the crew staying here and then we can walk alongside here and you get to the top here where we have uh, the steering wheel for the rudder uh, and then all the way up here we have like the watching area which is kind of nice um, and from here there is a door which takes us under deck so they come in here and uh, this is always really too complicated in my opinion doing the insides of a ship uh, but just bear with me guys <laughs> so you come in here uh, you can go straight ahead and then you get up to the captain's cabin so there's a bed here a small area for him to like plan the route and take notes and drink wine apparently and a small desk here as well but also just like the windows looking out the seven seas would be pretty cool but if we go back here again, we can actually go down into the lower decks. So you come in here, um, as you can see straight ahead we have the cruise deck. So um, straight ahead here we have like these uh, uh, yeah, hammocks for them to sleep in. So there's six hammocks and I believe, uh, I've done some research on this size of a ship and you would need probably at least 10 crew members uh, for uh, being able to like uh, yeah work a ship on this scale so we have six hammocks and they would sleep in and work on shifts because you probably always have this ship running if at least for going long distances so uh, you could sleep a couple of men at the time and then the rest is working so uh, six hammocks should be enough uh, here we also have a table for like eating and stuff so this is like the d a dining table and below here we actually have uh, the galley or the kitchen of the um, uh, of the ship here. So very small, but I think it's super cozy uh, and looks pretty cool. There's a little pantry and stuff in the back here, and also like some some storage here on this side. So that's kind of the cruise area here, and then there's some storage here in the front. We'll take a look at that in just a little bit. If we go around here, we have a door, and this takes us back to the map room so this is where uh, the captain and the other leading crew would be sitting to take uh, to plan the route and take a look at maps and and all that sort of stuff uh, it's a pretty decent looking room now let's move over here and continue ahead and we'll get to like uh, the, the storage part or the load part of the ship 
in the first floor, or like this floor we're at at the moment, uh, we don't have the heavy stuff. We have the lighter things, we have uh, some kind of fabric, we have ropes and small chests and stuff. And in the front here, we have some spare sails stored. Uh, if any of the sails uh, rip, we have more. And more ropes uh, and all that sort of stuff. Some simple chests and crates and all that sort of thing. And here you can see the big trap door or opening here. And then there's a ladder we can take down. It's a little bit tricky, but you can go down like that. And then we get to uh, the lower decks for storage. And here we have more heavy things. So here we have crates on this side or barrels, possibly with wine or other th heavy things. Um, so it's pretty heavy, a lot of them all over here. And then on this side, we also have other things. Uh, I imagine this could be oysters because it's going to be placed in Osterham, which has a lot of oysters. Uh, but it, it could be iron or whatever you want it to be. But yeah, we have all of that. And then in the back here, we have a lot more barrels on either side and a little bit of extra storage here in the middle for uh, yeah food and whatnot. Uh, there's a little trapdoor taking us all the way down to the ballast. So this is uh, like yeah cobblestones or stones being placed here to make sure the ship doesn't flip upside down. And just like that, this ship has sailed and docked at the harbor of Osterham and it looks so fitting right here. I think it's beautiful. I love the way it looks here next to this buildings here and it's gonna be amazing once we add more ships around here. But one thing is missing. We need to give this ship some flags. Now that looks better. Is it just me or does the ship look lonely? Well, since this is technically another Osterham video, I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple more smaller ships around this place here. There we have it, two more smaller ships alongside the harbor here. And as we go, uh, while we work on this area here, we're gonna just keep on adding small ships here and there, just to kind of make this place feel alive and populated with uh, stuff happening. Um, the first ship we built here is a fisher ship boat, uh, which um, again, we're using, whoopsie daisy, uh, we're using the um, iron crates to indicate oysters. So he's been out fishing with the oyster uh, traps trying to get some oysters and then uh, bring them in for sales and next to that we also have uh, an ice boat or a snow boat yeah i guess ice would be uh, the most accurate name this is then coming from a colder area bringing ice and snow so we can store that inside the ice building over here uh, so the ice would then be covered by this textile as you can see here but it's kind of tucked back now because we're unloading uh, but the idea is that yeah, we would bring ice and snow and whatever from colder parts of the area and then store that in the ice uh, shop right here. And that, my friends, will be it for today's episode. I really do hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman, and I'm out. <laughs>